All right, yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope we're all having a great day today, and we're all doing well. So, thanks to Life Thron Gaming, their channel will be linked in the description. We have our first look at some upcoming esports weapon skins. Now, I believe these are the tier three team skins. Um, obviously, we've already had like the tier one ones where they actually come with an operator bundle as well. So, like the G two set for Vigil. Then a couple of months ago, we got the tier two skins, like the sort of like Dark Zero Team Secret, sort of like the Team Secret one where it looks like Black Ice. So, skins like that, those were tier two now it seems like we're going to be getting the tier three team skins coming in operation crystal guard and like i was saying this is credit to life run gaming um for the little videos of these weapon skins and a lot of them are quite nice but for the most part you can actually see something which i am going to call the dark zero effect um basically these weapon skins a lot of them for the most part have sort of like an artist doing them and now obviously that's not a bad thing at all um, I think that's a really nice thing and I like a lot of the skins that are doing this. I really like the Mirage one for the AR-33 especially. It's sort of like the classic cartoon sort of ink style with like a blue and white design with like the design all over it and obviously they got an artist to do it. And I really like that. Like, I really love that style of art for the most part anyway. So seeing it on a weapon skin is extremely nice. And I think they, you know, have really outdone themselves with that weapon skin. It is really nice. But that's not, not the only great one in here. I think a lot of them. I actually don't think there's a lot of bummers for the most part in here. I think most of them are actually really nice. Um, even, like, surprisingly, the Oxygen one isn't that bad. If you guys remember the Oxygen one before for the MP5K, uh, everyone called it the John Deere Tractor. Because, oh, it was just an awful skin. Absolutely awful skin. I bought it as a joke, really, because of how much I didn't like the skin. I know that sounds kind of weird, but it was an awful skin. Um, but they actually have now one out for the G36C coming, and it looks much better. Um, it kind of does still kind of look, like, cheesy, like... 80s arcade carpet but it's still not the worst you know i think like obviously they could have done it a lot worse and i think it looks all right i'll, I'll happily run that one um it's still a bit meh but it's definitely better than their last skin by a long shot um the wild card one as well for the f2 is absolutely incredible like that's an insane weapon skin it's weapon skins like these that really make me wish that we had weapon inspection in the game because it would just be so much better to see these weapons like this. The Team 1 weapon skin as well is great. They're all great. I'm not going to go through all of them and just say that one's great, that one's great. I think for the most part, these Tier 3 skins are better than most Tier 1 and Tier 2 skins. And I'm being like genuinely serious on that. Um, I assume that maybe like a lot of them stepped up their game because obviously... The nicer the skin looks, the more likely people are going to buy it, and therefore that org gets more money. So I assume that is why that a lot, especially the smaller teams, are putting a lot more effort uh, into the weapon skins because they don't, they have to convince people to buy them a lot more than like G2 or Fnatic. You know, they have to, you know, a lot of these weapon skins are all on the same gun, so they have to kind of fight like these big orgs basically for what weapon skin people are going to buy. And if they're putting a lot of effort into a lot of nice artwork like this, then obviously they're more likely to get the sale, more likely to get the money. So definitely can see that a lot of these teams have stepped up their game um, to basically improve these weapon skins. And they're honestly so nice. Let's hope a lot of these skins don't suffer the same sort of controversy that happened to Dark Zero's ones. Obviously Dark Zero's ones are still in the game, but if you guys aren't aware, the artist for that was accused of tracing and everything. Uh, tracing the weapon skin from someone else's art, which, you know, a lot of controversy kind of arose from that. But uh, let's hope that none of the other teams have done that and, you know, that there isn't any more issues like that. But um, I am definitely excited to pick up a lot of these weapon skins. I think a lot of these ones are definitely great. But yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about the upcoming Tier 3 R6 share weapon skins coming to Rainbow Six Siege and Operation Crystal Guard. Um, links in the description for the original video of this by Lightthorn Gaming. Uh, yeah, guys, if you are new, be sure to subscribe and drop a like on this video if you did enjoy, dislike if you did not. And uh, yeah, guys, I love you all. Stay safe. I shall catch you all later. Peace.